Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today I've got a pretty quick, simple video. It's just a one day build. So this is a project I was gonna be doing anyway. I wasn't originally planning on filming it, but I thought I haven't posted in a while and I don't have any videos coming out at the moment. So I thought I'd film this, put it up there. I'm gonna be making a little desk extension so I can do my engineering homework more efficiently since COVID. Yeah, it's gonna be a simple one day build. Let's get to it. So because of COVID-19, I am now fully online for college in the fall. And I've got a lot of hard engineering classes. And this desk is not big enough. But I've got this area right here that's completely useless because I've got some shelves here. Right now it's just being used to store my Deadpool drawing from the last video. So what I've decided to do is I'm gonna build a simple little desk extension with some shelves so I can keep my textbooks and other stuff here. Have a little ex extension on the desk for a little more space. Should be a quick one day build. All right, so to make this, I'm just gonna be using this three quarter inch MDF because it's what I had lying around. And it's basically just gonna be a box. The top is gonna be an extension of my desk so I have more room for all the massive textbooks that engineering requires. Then there'll be two shelves underneath so I'll have easy access to storage so I don't have to move around too much. I'm just gonna chop this up. It's got a pretty simple design. And then let's assemble it and I might do paint, I haven't decided yet. All right, so now I got a bunch of rectangles and I'm gonna glue them together and I'll reinforce it with brads. And it's a pretty simple little box. Uh, I'll make the rough square, uh, and then I'll have the shell. Uh, for the back, I'll be using this stuff. Don't really know what it's called. It's just some thin MDF, I guess. Because uh, I don't want to waste the, the thicker stuff. It doesn't need to be that strong in the back, just to just so you can't see the wall on the other side. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to use these uh, 90 clamps that I use for welding, and I'll just put it together. Got some wood glue and brads get to it. So what I'm basically just going to do, I'm just going to run a bit of glue down the sides, clamp it together and stick some nails in it. Alright, so basically just ran some wood glue down the side and now I'm going to clamp them together. Pretty basic. And here I'm really trying to get this to line up, but if it doesn't quite line up, I can always just sand it down. This is not supposed to be a piece of fine furniture. One easy way to do it is hit the like button. Helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Helps me get these videos to more people. Helps me do bigger projects. So if you think this is a cool video, just go ahead and hit the like button. All right, this bottom piece. All right, got it clamped. Time for the nails. this dry before I put the shelf in just because I'm out of corner clamps and I want to make sure it's nice and square. Alright so I've now let it dry a bit so I'm put in the shelf and I've set up you can't see them but I've set up corner clamps already at the exact height I want so I just have to slide in my shelf and make sure it's level this way. So get my shelf make sure to put it in so I hide the Flaws. There we go. So 
This one I'm not going to bother gluing. I might put a bead of glue on the underside. Alright, so this thing is a little bit twisted. So what I'm going to do, line up one side, stick a few, a few nails in it. Now I just need to line up this side. There we go. Here's an update to the solar gazebo project. If you haven't seen that video, it's a good one. You'll check it out. I'll put a link in the description. But we've got some upgrades. We have now got a paved uh, concrete, stamped concrete base. I didn't film this because I wasn't the one who did it. We hired that out. We've got it furnished. We've got these lights installed. Got this thing fully up, generated in power, fully permitted. We've got power inside now in three places, down there and over there. So we can run a whole bunch of stuff in here. There might be a few more projects involving this. I'm not quite sure yet, but it's going well. Now back to the video. So this is the desktop and then I've got some shelves and this will nicely fill up that corner. It's not the nicest looking thing, but I'm gonna sand it. And I think I'm gonna hit it with some paint too, because MDF is not the most interesting wood. But now just, Cut to when it's sanded. So I've got enough sanding now that I think it'll hold paint nicely. So I've got this thin stuff and I'm just gonna nail it to the back. I'm not even gonna bother gluing it just cause I'm feeling lazy and wanna get this done. And it, this doesn't need to be a nice project. It's just, this is pure useful project. So I've got this piece and this piece. I'm gonna try cutting them to size after the fact actually because that seems easier. Not exactly sure why. I'm just winging it. I don't actually know what I'm doing here. And also this will help stabilize it because it has a little bit of wobble. Now I cut it to size like I'm gonna be using this thing. It just has a vibrating blade on it. And I'll use that to trim this thing to size. So this thing's all sanded and ready to paint. And I dropped the paint. So I guess you now know what color I'm painting it. Uh, so I'm gonna clean this up and start painting this. Quick mid paint update. It's actually looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna paint every single surface. And so far it's making it actually look really nice. So I'm, uh, this thing's turning out better than I expected. So yeah, let's get back to painting. I still got this mess on the floor. So I didn't bother to paint the bottom or the back because you're never gonna see them. But I've got a nice paint job on. Not a perfect paint job, but it's a dark color so it's gonna blend in nicely. So as soon as this dries, get to install it and it's done. It's a pretty quick project. So while the paint's drying, I need to get rid of some of these. These are my gymnastics medals from middle school through high school. And I need to move some of them over. Luckily I happen to have this. This is a hook that I forged few years ago when I started blacksmithing. I, I should be getting a blacksmithing video coming to this channel at some point. It'll happen eventually. But I don't need to find a stud or anything because of this shelf. I already know where a stud is. So I'm just gonna mount this. You can't quite see it. I'll bring the camera in a second. Mount this here and just move some of these metals that would be interfering with the desk extension and moving them to here. Et voila. And yes, I do have puppy wallpaper. It's older than me. There we go, I've got that area cleared up. So now, the only thing in the way is the Deadpool drawing. And, got the hook. I've got way too many of these. Any gymnast who's competed in JO will know, you end up with way too many of these. There's, it's ridiculous. So after putting it on the cart and feeling the surface, I'm actually not happy with the surface. So I'm gonna try sanding it. I may need to do another coat, I really hope not. But I'm gonna try hitting it with some 220 grit sandpaper and hopefully that'll clear, clean it up a little bit and I'll have a nice smooth surface to work on. Okay, so I've now sanded this, so it's a little smoother now and I've cleaned it. And there is a little bit on the back because I did use a bit of putty to clean up a little mistake I made here. So I need a little bit of touch up paint here, not much. So here's a little trick that I use when I need to do touch up paint and don't want to get a paintbrush paint, painted 
and after clean it, if I get to take paper towel, just dip the paper towel in and use the paper towel as a brush. And it's, it's not always the best painting quality, but for little touch-ups, it works great. And you don't have to clean a paintbrush afterwards. And this way, I can just throw away the paper towel and I don't have extra cleanup to do. And there we go, touched up, and that'll dry and blend in eventually. All right, sorry if you can hear some background noise in this, it's unavoidable at the moment, but it's time to get this thing into place. And this, these wheels I put it on do not roll very well on carpet. I'll just take it off. Now, if I measure this correctly, this should just slide into place. Get a little bit of clanging as I go through the metals. And there we go. Fits perfectly. Take you guys a closer look. There we go. Just ignore the drill. Okay, so this desk does have a bit of a draft angle on it, but I didn't want to model that into this. So now I have this extra space that was previously unusable for math and engineering stuff. And I got extra storage down there. All right, hope you enjoyed this little one day build. I already stocked it with some physics and engineering and math books. If you like this video and you want to see more builds, especially much more interesting ones than this one, this is about as boring as a project gets for me. And it was still pretty good. If you liked it, hit, hit the like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. And come see cool builds like this. I've got much cooler ones coming up. I got the two I mentioned in this video, the solar gazebo and the Deadpool engraving on an aviation gym bottle. I'll link both those in the description if you want to check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.